New Town's golf course is the only one within a hundred miles radius of the town. Because of this, it can set its prices without worrying about competition from other courses. It decides to operate as a single price monopolist. Market research has produced a demand curve from which a marginal revenue, the marginal cost, MC, measures the cost of supplying an additional round of golf. The price, generated from the intersection of the MR and MC curves, is set at $60 per round of golf. At this price, a typical member would play 40 rounds each year, and the course would make $1,600 in profit. But pricing in this way does not capture profits from two additional sources. First, customers would pay more than $60 for 40 rounds of golf. The triangle above the rectangle of profits is $800 of consumer surplus that the course could obtain. Second, the course is selling fewer rounds of golf than it could. If it set its price as low as possible, at its MC, it would sell 80 rounds. The triangle to the right of the rectangle of profits is another $800 of consumer surplus that the course could obtain from selling these additional rounds. Many courses use a two-part tariff to capture these additional consumer surpluses. The fixed fee is the annual membership fee. The variable fee, called a green fee, is paid each time members play a round of golf. The challenge is to find the prices to charge for these fees. The answer lies in the diagram. By setting the green fee equal to its MC, the course supplies the maximum number of rounds that make economic sense. Furthermore, by setting the membership fee equal to the total consumer surplus from purchasing 80 rounds of golf, the course can capture the profits that it would have had, plus the two additional sources of consumer surplus. By setting the fees optimally, the golf course can earn a total of $3,200 in profits.